We are finally home from Ikea. Recently, I've been collecting a lot more and more when it comes to my Funko Pop collection, when it comes to my Star Wars collection, when it comes to uh, my lightsaber collection. I don't really have like a designated display area. So for example, well, I have a couple drawers from Ikea. This one has all of my Funko Pops and just collectible items. I have like a lightsaber stand. I have another lightsaber right here. Um, I have kind of things just laying around. I have some more pops over here. These are more, my more like expensive ones and some baby Yodas and I have like my my Obi-Wan replica right here and some other things just like sprinkled around my room but I, I really need a place to display all of my items so I went to Ikea today and I bought two displays I bought one that's for more of my high-end stuff and then the other one's going to be for my like Funko Pops so uh, I have this gigantic Ikea box this has my lack display it's like white it's the one I thought would match my room the most so let's get to building it yo Built it. Look what we did. I think this is gonna go great in this little corner right here. So let's try to move it. Okay. Okay, I like it. I need to mount it to the wall. Okay, for now, I think it's fine. Let me know in the comments. What do what do we think? Like, do we like it? Do we like it here? Or would we want it over here? Because I'm thinking of putting my display here. Let me know, let me know. Okay, so like I stated before, in this drawer we have a bunch of Funko Pops, collectibles, like little things. So I'm gonna take those out and put them on my bed and see what we're working with. <laughs> Okay, so here I have all of my pops and a couple figures laid out. I need to figure out which ones correlate with each other so that I can put like similar things on each row. We have different rays and a Ben Solo that we can put together. And then we have our 2021 Spring Collection Limited Edition Yoda. This one's definitely a special one, so I might put it on its own little shelf. Darth Maul, we have two Ahsokas. We can do an Ahsoka shelf. We have Dr. Ian Malcolm signed by Jeff Goldblum, which I am not taking out of the case. And then we have another Ian Malcolm, not signed yet, injured Ian Malcolm. And then we have my favorite, Steven Tyler. I recently got him for Christmas and I'm not sure where I'm going to put him yet. So we are officially finished with our Funko Pop display. Starting from the bottom, we have Ray, kind of like a sequel tribute at the bottom. We have D, Zero, and BB-8, and Ray with two lightsabers, and then Ray with her yellow lightsaber. Going up one, we have our Yoda 2021 Spring Convention Limited Edition Exclusive Funko Pop. I love it so much that I didn't want to take it out of the box. I, I want to keep it as pristine as possible. Then, kind of not fitting with the theme, I just didn't know what I wanted to put next to Yoda. If y'all have any other ideas, let me know. But we have Lego Baby Yoda. Going up one, this is one of my favorite shelves we have so far. We have the first edition of the Boba Fett Funko Pop. As you can tell, it's the eighth Star Wars Funko Pop ever made. I love this one. It's it's really classic. It's the classic Funko Pop. Moving over, we have the latest Boba Fett Funko Pop. It's kind of cool to have both the first and the latest uh, Boba Funkos. I love the detailing on his armor. And of course, we have Fennec in honor of the Book of Boba Fett. Fennec 
and boba. Going up one, we have our Ahsoka tribute shelf. We have Ahsoka from the Clone Wars, and we have Ahsoka from the Mandalorian. I'm hoping to get more Ahsoka Funko Pops, but we'll see. But your girl's broke, so this is what we have to make do with for now. <laughs> and then going up one, we have, I just didn't really know where to put some of these. We have Ben Solo. We have Kylo Ren, which is a super cool Funko Pop. It's a lights and sound one, so the sound turns on, and it has lighting, and I have yet to take it out of the package. Maybe I'll make a separate video on this, but I'm just so scared to touch it because it's so pretty. And then we have Clone Wars Mall, of course. Going up one, probably my favorite shelf. We have our Jeff Goldblum shelf. We have our signed Ian Malcolm. We have our Grand Master Funko. Not sure what type of figurine this is. And then we have our Ian Malcolm Injured in Jurassic Park Funko Pop. And then going up one, we have Steven Tyler. I didn't know what else to put up there, but we always gotta, we gotta pay respect to the king. But yeah, that is our Funko shelf and I couldn't be more happy with it. Eventually I'm going to mount it to the wall probably tomorrow because I am mounting my TV to the wall as well tomorrow. So it's kind of gonna be in the middle. And we're going to put another display right there. Um, so let's go ahead and build that too. So at Ikea today, I bought a glass display case. It's called a Daytolf case. And with the correct lighting, it looks really good. So I'm hoping this will display my helmets well and some other more expensive Star Wars collectibles I have like lightsabers and um, helmets and et cetera, et cetera. So we're going to build that and see how it turns out. The display case and there are a lot of fingerprints I don't have any Windex so we're gonna have to just clean it tomorrow all right now let's figure out where this is gonna go 